Hello and happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, July the 24th. I have most of a voice back. Um, let me catch up with you here. I am Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and today is Sunday, July the 24th. And I'm trying to get my little earrings turned around here that Lynn got me. Let me catch up with you all here so that I can hear what you are saying here so I can hear what y'all are saying um hopefully my voice is gonna is gonna hold out Woo! hold on so loud hold on we are here so hopefully my voice is gonna last the whole time hello Linda thank you very much hello Linda hello Lynn got a few people here Lynn look I figured out a fix for my earrings I never did find that other little um I never did find the other little hook so I just added them to another pair of earrings. Yeah, I made them super cool. Lynn got these for me. But anyway, hello and happy Sunday. I'm Kelly with If You Have an Egg.com. Hello, Carol. It's good to see you. I am so glad to be back. Hello, Elaine. Um, <clears throat> I will try not to clear my throat a hundred times tonight because I do. I did find out that that's very bad for your vocal cords. If you're having problems such as I am and hello Trish, I see you sneaking in. John is sneaking in there. Um, yeah, and Lynn, they're they're super cool. So yeah. Look how cute these are. Lynn got these for me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hello, Linda from Rock Island, Illinois. Hello, Kim. Hello, Sandra from Demon's Ferry. It's so good to see you all. So you don't even have any idea how much I miss you all when I'm not here. Hello, John from Home Base. Um, it seems weird. And hello, Sherry. Oh, it's raining and some booms in Cape Coral, Florida. Eek, sorry about that. Hello, Hattie. It's good to see you. Hello, Mary from uh, Mary Ann from Pennsylvania. Um, but it's weird because even though I can't see you all, I miss you all. When I'm not here so that was so boring last Sunday sitting and watching um Shark Week we've never sat and watched Shark Week and hello let's see Maria from Michigan and um, we've never we've never just sat and watched Shark Week and we, of course we didn't watch you know the whole week but we did watch I don't know several of them because there was literally nothing else to do last Sunday night you know since I didn't have a chat to prepare for and hello Sandra since I didn't have a, a chat to prepare for that's like five hours on a Sunday that I had nothing else to do. And both of the girls were sick, so they couldn't even come over. But anyway, whatever. And hello, Lisa. Oh, Lisa just picked her cucumbers and her squash, and she says it is hot in Arkansas. And John said, yeah, it was boring. So is that how normal people live? Normal people just have nothing to do on a Sunday night? They don't spend five hours getting ready to talk to people that they can't even see. Anyway, hello, Linda from Georgia. So it's good, good, good to see everybody. Thank you all for checking in on me. Um, so many of you all checked on uh, me and us. And hello, Pat from Illinois. If you're brand new and don't have any idea what's going on, um, I lost my voice last week. Actually, it was gone, like gone, gone for an entire day and was really rough. Um, coming back for a few days after that and my friend Tanya Rees here in town hello Kathy my friend Tanya Rees here in town is an is a licensed herbalist and she had me put together a blend of two of her teas that we do carry here fortunately at Casey Kitchen Center I didn't even have to go anywhere hello Sandra from Naperville Illinois um, but she had me put two of those together and I'm not kidding after about three cups of that I could at least talk so this is a I don't know, this is a hundred time improvement over last week. Last week it was, you know, really squeaky and whatever and hoarse. Um, but thank you all for letting me take a week off. I did find out that if I continue to abuse it when that happens, that some really serious things can happen. So anyway, so we took a whole week off and hello, Roberta. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and it's funny because I never felt bad. Um, <clears throat> I had to go to a job site. I finally have, have narrowed it down to this, and I won't bore you all with the details, but I had to go to a job site, and they are tearing up the walls and the floors in a building that's probably 100, and, I don't know, what would you say, John, 120 years old, maybe, and while I was there, and they were carrying fiberglass up and down the stairs, and I don't know, you know, just all kinds of stuff, and hello, Loretta, but I could feel it, like, while I was talking to them, I don't know, I could just feel it, it wasn't like I was stopped up, it wasn't like I needed to cough, I don't know, I could just feel it, like, on my like on my vocal cords anyway, and then and yelling over the top of the fans going and people working and everything. And then the next day, nothing. I mean, it was literal silence. And I know John gets tired of listening to me talk, but I think even he was like, okay, we got to do something. Because I mean, I was, I was silent, you know, for, I don't know, probably 30 something hours. But anyway, hello, I'm back. Um, voice is doing pretty well. Wasn't a cough or anything, so I shouldn't cough. Shouldn't have any, you know, problems. Yeah, I know, Carol. I'm not working in there anymore. So I just had to go for a visit just to evaluate the situation. So I will not be back until this building is done. So anyway, okay. So today is July the 24th. We skipped last week and y'all are going to have to go ahead and forgive me. 
I will keep referring to two weeks ago as last week. People that are new, a lot of the people that are new won't know. They won't know that I missed last week, other than the rambling at the first of this. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'll go ahead and apologize that I will, I'm confident I will refer to two weeks ago as last week multiple times, and we'll just all, you know, enjoy this together. Um, but today is July the 24th. If you're brand new, please let us know because we would love to welcome you, and we would love to say hi and hello if you're brand new here with us tonight. Um, tonight, we're going to be talking about how to grow your personal points budget, and I'm going to go ahead and say this is the most controversial topic ever like uh, I've ever heard but we'll get to that in a few minutes first a little bit of news again thank you for letting me take a week off and um, to rest my vocal cords um second if you have not been on your app lately if you've not been on your WW app oh wait hold on Maria is new so everybody welcome Maria it's just just normal Maria M-A-R-I-A -A. so hello Maria it's so nice to meet you everybody welcome her and yes Sandra I missed you too and uh Cynthia hello to you and um Yes, Sandra, my voice is back most of the way. And the earrings were from Lynn. Aren't they so cute? They were made out of their leather. They're leather earrings. Aren't they awesome? Um, thank you all for welcoming um, Maria. So we will have a good time tonight. We're going to talk about lots and lots of things. Um, the first, Okay, and now I'm fiddling with them and I'm turning them around. Okay, um, so if you haven't been on your app lately, there was an update. Um, I don't know which, I don't know what day it was, just all of a sudden there was an update and I think Julie was the first person in our group to notice it. So of course I had to go run and check it out and um, you will need your login information. So if you have not been on your app lately, you are going to need your login information. Okay, I've probably told you 20 times to make sure that you know what that is. So if you don't know what your login and password is, shame on you. But anyway, so there was an update on your app. You do need to go ahead and um, check it out. I'm sure I haven't found everything, but it does look like that tracking your weight, the tracking your activity, and tracking your sleep just got a little bit easier along with um, where to find the place to do your weekly check-in. It looks like that just got a little bit easier too. Um, comment below if you found some other things. So if you have found some other things that were on this latest update, go ahead and put it in the comments because we all need to know. So everyone who was here with us tonight, um, is either um, doing Weight Watchers, WW, um, or they're interested in it or interested in some kind of, you know, program like this. So if we're, if, if you know of any updates that were on or anything that changed during in this last update, do please comment del uh, below so that we'll all know what they are. It would take me forever to figure them all out. And um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, that's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg, please go ahead and comment because we would love to know what, you know, what all of the updates were. Um, and I just played around for a few minutes, so I'm sure I did not find all of them. Um, and then the third thing, the third bit of news for this week is, Carol Lou reminded me that August the 8th is sneak some zucchini onto your neighbor's porch day. So I know somebody just picked some squash, and sorry, I already I already forgot who it was, and I know I just said your name, but um, so August the 8th is sneak some zucchini onto your neighbor's porch day. Mark your calendars, okay? Mark your calendars for that day. Just kidding. Um, and go see Carol's post over on um, over on the If You Have an Egg Facebook group. Go over there and see her post because she she posted um, a batch of great recipes in case. Hello, Bernice. It's good to see you. In case you are the prank e instead of the pranker. So if you are the recipient of the um, oh wait okay Trish just found one. Trish said Trish says you can track your blood sugar now. So Trish. Do you, can you expand on that? Like, where where would you find that? And hello, Sandy. Where would you find that? And y'all keep shouting them out. So if you see any other updates, let us know because there's no way that we could find them all. Um, but anyway, in case you are the prank e, if somebody leaves the zucchini on your porch instead of you being the pranker and leaving it on theirs, go over and check out Carol Lou's um, post on the If You Have an Egg group. It was like 40 recipes, 40 or 50. I don't remember how many, but there were a lot of zucchini recipes, and they looked really good. And hello, Katie. It's good to see you. Okay, first thing I need to know, and I'm going to keep calling it last week, even though it's been two weeks, but who sat their bottom in a chair last week? So give me some thumbs ups. If you sat your bottom in a chair last week at a WW workshop, thumbs ups for that. Or if you went to a Zoom meeting last week and Linda's bottom was in a green chair again. Linda, how's your arm? I have not heard any updates on your arm. Of course, I haven't asked either, but how is your arm doing? But thumbs ups for that. <clears throat> and hearts. If you attended here with us live two weeks ago, or if you watched the ice cream chat, so for last week, since we since we were not here actually live last week, I suggested it was National Ice Cream 
day. So I suggested that everybody go watch an old ice cream chat, you know, where you just watch me. Oh good, Linda's arm's getting better. Where you just watch, you just watch me eat ice cream. So hopefully somebody went and watched that. But hearts, if you were live with us here two weeks ago, or if you watched the ice cream chat. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Trish says when you hit the plus to go to track your food activity, weight, and sleep, you can also track your blood sugar. And she doesn't have a purpose for it, so she didn't track it. But that's there are people here who have a use for that. So that's awesome information, Trish. Thank you very much. Um, but bravo stickers to everyone who um, was who attended a workshop last week or in the last two weeks or went to a Zoom workshop or was here with us live two weeks ago or watched the ice cream chat. So just curious, did anybody... Just a show of hands, did anybody actually go watch the ice cream chat? That one was a fun one. Um, but bravo stickers for doing all of that, y'all. <clears throat> and for sticking with it while I was um, not here, while I was resting my voice. But this month's theme is live flexibly. And so, boy howdy, talk about having to learn how to live flexibly. When I, I earn a living with my voice. So I sell, I sell countertops. That's what I do here all day long. And I have to talk to people. And it is so funny because when um, when I couldn't talk, the day that I couldn't talk, literally no customers understood. They were all either like, I, I don't know, what do you mean she can't talk? She can't talk. Like, she can't speak. And the girls were trying to translate for me, and people were so confused. But anyway, so talk about having to live flexibly. We had to make some sudden changes on how to communicate with people. Um, Kendall and Allie had to pick up a lot of the, you know, pick up a lot of the slack for me because I could not speak to, you know, to anyone. And try as they might, people kept saying, well, I'm not going to call and bother you. Um, I'm not going to call and bother you. You might, okay, so you, those of you who are saying you don't have any updates on your app, do you have Android or um, Apple? And you might need to go in, go in and force an update because I promise you there is an update. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so I already lost what I was saying. Anyway, had to be flexible, had to be super flexible on how we were going to handle that, you know, not being able to speak. So this entire month, we're talking about living flexibly. And last week, which was two weeks ago, we were talking about how, how to plan for a roadblock. And boom, there was a roadblock there was a major roadblock. So it would have been super easy for me to go, fantastic, I can't eat, or I can't, can't eat, I can't talk, I can't do anything, and I'm talking no voice. It would have been super easy for me just to go, you know, wallow in, you know, wallow in whatever, and, um, you know, just to wallow in it, but because we've been planning for roadblocks, because we've been pan planning for those moments, and, you know, instead of panicking, um, you know, we learned some things two weeks ago, you know, to figure out if, if that detour, if that roadblock, if you need to take a detour, um, is it a special event? Was it one meal? Was it one event? Was it one entire day? Mine ended up being for most of an entire week, um, off and on for an entire week. Actually, I mean, this creepiness, this it'll be two weeks Tuesday. <clears throat> so, a little lengthy. And is it something that I could do a little, you know, that you could do a little differently and still stay on plan? So we all opened up our toolboxes in the last couple of weeks. I had to open up my toolbox of soup that I had in the freezer. I had to, so I already had some soup pre-prepared and in the freezer from past chats. Um, I had some soup that I had purchased at Trader Joe's that I had in the freezer. So I had to, I had to open my toolbox and find some things that would help to soothe my throat, that would help me to, you know, to calm the, um, and again, it wasn't my throat, it was just my vocal cords, but to help me, to help me soothe that, to help me, you know, not, um, not use my voice, you know, but to really open up that toolbox. And one of the tools that I used was typing. Um, so I never really thought about typing as a, as a WW, um, tool. But, um, and that is so funny because somebody named Prince Teddy wants to know if I'm available to chat. No, I am not Teddy, cause I'm chatting with my egglets right now. Anyway, so, you know, if that was a tool, you know, typing ended up being a tool because it helped me to bridge, you know, that kind of communication gap. Um, you know, and then we had to figure out how to keep our hands on the wheel and our eyes on the road, you know, to make this happen. So our homework for last week was hashtag, two weeks ago, was hashtag flex your toolbox and whether you started the journey last week or if you started it a lifetime ago, you've already got some tools. You have some tools. So let's check out the homework from two weeks ago. Y'all did a really good job on your homework. Um, Sherry dug, she dug into her toolbox and let me tell you what she found. Number one, she found a pencil and pad for tracking what she ate, what she's been eating that day. Number two, meal prep is usually what is usually what's on sale or what we've talked about um, in our Sunday night chats. Then number three, 
is the Sunday night chat. That's one of her tools. Number four is purified water or bottled spring water. Number five is little motivational messages that she puts on sticky notes. And y'all know how much I love sticky notes. The little motivational messages that she puts on sticky notes. Um, and she can find them on her fridge or her bathroom mirror. Awesome tools. Those are, that's, are awesome tools out of your toolbox, Sherry. And then Karen, so Popcorn Karen did not intentionally do her homework this week. LOL. But something that she shared this week reminded me that I have, I've seen her pull this out of her toolbox multiple, multiple times over the years, and it always works for her. This is such an important tool in her toolbox. Um, I've known Karen, I've known Popcorn Karen for a lot of years, and I've actually had the pleasure of going, of staying at her home um, with her and her amazing husband, Tomas, who is a, a fantastic cook. Um, but she's, this is what, this is what she uses. I mean, this is like a major tool in her toolbox. And I would call her the Kodiak Queen, even though we call her Popcorn Karen at my house. Um, she, she is also the Kodiak Queen, the Kodiak, um, you know, Kodiak Mix um, Queen. It's got higher protein, chocked full of flavor. Um, they're filling. And when you use them, so that is a staple at her house. And this week she was pulling it out of her toolbox and using it. She makes that part of a building block for so many delicious meals. I mean, so many. If you go over to, if you have an egg and search Karen, K-A-R-A-N, you can see some of the wonderful things that she's made with the Kodiak mixes, but that's a great tool out of her toolbox. And then Sandra uses her WW app and her favorite workshops as important tools, but she has strapped something else into her tool, into her tool belt, tool belt, and it's called the Flip app, F-L-I-P-P. -P. I asked her about it. She explained it to me. I still have not downloaded it yet, um, but it's keeping her grocery list under control and it's keeping her closer to budget. So I'm just curious, is anybody else using the Flip app, F-L-I-P-P, -P, like Sandra is, or if you're using something similar, just go ahead and shout out what it is, you know, go ahead and comment. Let us know what you're using. But bravo <clears throat> to everyone who did your homework. Good job, ladies and gents, um, for keeping this up, even when I wasn't here to check in on you. Um, but y'all did a great job on your homework. And Pam does. So, Pam, what do you use? Do you use Flip or do you use something else? But y'all just keep commenting and talking because this this is what this is about, is you all giving me and everybody else some suggestions, too, and not just listening to me talk the whole time. Okay, this week's topic, though, is how to grow your personal points budget. And this is, so, and now for the most controversial topic, I think, I've ever seen in my quarter century on WW, okay? <clears throat> While I rested my voice last week, I had a little bit of time to see what everybody else was saying about this week's topic instead of worrying about what I was going to say about this week's topic um, and until now. And dang, people, calm down. Everybody needs to calm down. So I want you to listen to me. We're going to sort ourselves into two teams, but I want you to remain calm I don't want any fighting. I actually had to mute one of the groups that I'm in because they were going off the charts about this topic. Okay, it's okay. So we're going to we are going to sort ourselves into two teams right now. But there are no winners. There are no losers. No one is right and no one is wrong. Okay, we're just going to sort ourselves into two teams. So I want you to raise your hand. So do a little hand emoji or comment below um, if you are team yes. I think adding points back is fun and a great way for me to add more veggies, water, and exercise into my day. So if that's the team you're on, raise your little virtual hand, you know, or comment below. Give me a heart emoji. So do a heart emoji or comment below. If you are team, are you kidding me? We will never lose weight if we have 80 extra points at the end of the day because I ate my weight in broccoli today. Okay, so if you're on that team, and again, there, there are no winners or losers. There is no right or wrong team. I'm just curious which I'm just curious which team you all are on, <clears throat> because this other group that I muted, there was a definite line. Like there was a definite line. Okay, and it was whoo, it was heated. Anyway, I muted it for a few days. They seem to have calmed down. I think now, but we're still going to chat about this. Okay, so Carol is a little nervous about it. There's nothing wrong with being nervous about it. Mary's all in. Mary Ann, though. Seems a little nervous about it. Elaine's all in. Okay, I am. I'm all hands up. I, it confused me in the beginning. We're going to talk about it here in just a few minutes. It confused me in the beginning, but I seriously have. I have embraced it, and I am loving it. And it has become a game for me. Okay, so um, this other group that I had to mute, uh, they were almost. 
I'm serious, almost violently verbal about their outrage at the idea. I mean, they were outraged at the idea that adding back points could lead to anything but doom, gloom, and impending disaster. I mean, they literally were like, this was, it was chaotic to say the best. So I'm here to tell you, it's okay. You're okay. And we are all going to be okay. Okay. We're all okay. So let's talk about this real quick. So the first one is add back one. You can add back one point with 60 ounces of water. Yes, it has to be real water. This is plain water because I have not, this will be the end of my 60 ounces for today to gain one point back. So I will add back one point to my daily value. So yes, it has to be plain water. They're encouraging us to drink just plain water. No, you do not have to participate. So that was part of the was, I don't want to drink plain water. Then don't, then just don't participate. Nobody's saying you have to. And also, yes, if you drink more than 60 ounces of water consistently, you will not only add back one point per day to be used or not be used. You do not have to use it. You will get in some extra steps going to the bathroom. I'm just saying, I know you will, because it happens. Okay, the second way to add back points is through activity. Please understand, you cannot outrun what you eat, okay? Um, trying to do so is not realistic, it's not sustainable, and in some cases, it is not mentally healthy. So there are people who do not try to, do not need to try and exercise more, like, you know, to add back points. I get it. Not everything, this is not a one-size-fits-all plan, okay? There are some of you who need to go, eh, that's not a good idea for me. I've had problems with that in the past, and it is A-OK. -okay if you have had problems with that in the past, or if you feel like that's gonna be a problem, just don't do it, okay? Just try to move, just try to get in some you know, normal activity, but don't use that to add back points. Um, also, the old activity points that we're used to, they have been greatly modified. So used to, when I would walk with Karen on um, on a Sunday, I would earn, I mean, I would earn a boo -coodle of points. I was earning like eight or nine points on a Sunday. Now I earn like two, okay? So I just want you to understand, if you're used to the old programs and you think, oh, I'm just going to go for a stroll around the block with the dog and get me get me two points back. You're not going to, okay? They have been greatly modified, and it is to encourage us to, um, you know, to get out, to get out there and do something, um, adding back a point or two a day. I'm not talking about adding 15 points a day through activity, but adding back a point or two a day is a great way to reward yourself with some mood-boosting mo movement because an appropriate amount of movement for you for that day can boost your mood and also do not feel feel guilty if you need to dip into some of those points for an occasional treat a treat not just to use willy-nilly but as a treat okay and then the last one is add back as many points as you like with one cup of non starchy vegetable this is where people lost their minds okay absolutely lost their minds so these were three of the questions that i saw and i'm going to give you my personal opinion answers on those okay this is not ww sanctioned i didn't ask anybody at weight watchers this is my personal opinion. The first question was, if I had back, and this is how I imagine this person was, their head was bobbing. I mean, I couldn't see them, but I'm telling you, this is how, this was the tone in their voice. If I had back 30 points a day, how do they expect me to lose weight? Well, I don't know who they is, but my personal opinion is, you don't have to use back. You don't have to use all the points that you add back. And come on, if you're, if you're eating 30 points, this person said 30 points, 30? If you're eating 30 cups of non-starchy vegetables, where the heck were you planning on putting that extra food anyway, okay? 30? Yeah, I, don't, I think you need to be worried about something else if you're trying to, you got different problems if you're trying to work in 30 cups. 30 cups, I should have gotten something that was 30 cups. Anyway, second question was, if I eat enough vegetables to add back points to my day, I will still be consuming that many calories. You, obvi you obviously have to be in a calorie deficit no matter what to lose weight. Okay, I simultaneously agree and disagree with you, person, unnamed person. You do have to be in an overall calorie deficit to lose weight, but most non-starchy vegetables, when eaten in their unprocessed form, so I'm talking about like a cup of spinach leaves, not a cup of blended spinach, um, they're actually so high in water and fiber and they're extremely low in energy density. It does not make negative calories because some people will say that too, but by the time you've chewed them, swallowed them, process, your body's processed them, you know, whatever, they're really low in energy density. So it's not like eating. So if you ate like a hundred calories in spinach, I'll, I'll use spinach again. If you ate a hundred calories in spinach, that's going to be a huge amount of spinach. Um, that was going to be a huge amount of spinach. Um, 
you know, versus 100 calories of, you know, like, I don't know, a Tootsie Roll. That's just gone, okay? The last one was, so you're telling me if I add back 20 points to my day that I have to stay up late enough to make sure that I eat them all to get my blue dot? Nope. Nobody said that. No one said that. Um, adding back points is a great, it is a great encourager. And if you have a few extra points at the end of the day that you want to spend on, say, because like Deanna and I were talking about this this week, if you have some points left at the end of the day, if you've added some back or if you just have some left and you're, and you're still hungry and you want something else, have a peanut butter sandwich and a glass of skim milk. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, go for it. But no one says, oh my gosh, Lynn says 30 cups equals 1.875 gallons. Can you imagine? You would not have room for any other food. You just wouldn't. Um, but anyway, nobody said you have to consume them all, nor should you consume them all. If, you've add, if somehow you've added back that many points, um, and for the love of Pete, please do not use those extra points to sit in front of the TV and eat Skittles every night. This plan, the way this plan is designed, is to encourage you to fill your body with food, to fuel it with food, um, to fill it with things that it needs, and not to cheat your way back into an old habit, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and say, get, me, get behind me, Skittles. You have no power over me, okay? You just don't. So if I earn back 26 points one day this week, Bag of Skittles, not opening you, okay? You have no power over me. So your homework for this week is, surprise, flex your points bank. So you are building, when you're adding points back, when you're adding them back in, you're adding them into your points bank. I personally think it's fun to watch it go cha-ching, cha-ching. It's like watching an eBay auction to me. I, I don't know. I can't explain it. Um, but I don't abuse it. I'm not using it to eat. And hello, Sherry from Michigan. Oh, Sherry's new. Awesome, awesome, Sherry. S-H-E-R-R-I. So everybody, welcome, Sherry. It's so good to have you. And sorry that my, sorry my voice is still a little bit creepy. Um, but, um, but anyway, so flex your points bank. So you're going to hashtag flex your points bank. F-L-E-X-Y-O-U-R-P-O-I-N-T-S-B-A-N-K. Because every time you add back, you're like putting a, you're putting a few points in your bank. You know, you got putting some in your extra bank. You might need them, you know, you might need them sometime. There might be, you know, an opportunity that you need to use those points and you might not. You might just let them sit there, you know, and you just don't cash them in. So, spot, hashtag flex your points bank. I want you to pick one way to add back at least one point one day this week, okay? One way, one point one day. Now, there are a lot of you all that are going to blow past that. Like, you've probably already blown past that just sitting here thinking about it. But what I want to hear from the people that are nervous about adding the points back. That's who I want to hear from this week for your, for your um, homework. So, if you're nervous that adding back some points, a few, a couple, one, if you're nervous about it, that's who I want to hear from for your homework. So, it's hashtag flex your points bank one way. So, it could be water, could be exercise, activity. It could be um, non-starchy vegetables, but one way to add back one point one day, okay? And y'all already know how to tag me, tag me, post a picture, type it, you know, whatever you want to do. But I want to hear from you all. So especially if you are, if you're the person that's, you know, nervous, if you're the person that's nervous about this, I want to hear from you. And Sandra, yes, it is time to drink some water. And I wish water <clears throat> is what would make that, you know, go down. But, okay, so we're at the halfway point, and I'm going to go ahead and put on my apron. We're not technically making anything tonight. We're going to talk about things that you can make, um, but I'm not going to technically make anything. Um, but if you're new, this chat lasts an hour. So I hope you went to the bathroom before we started, because you still got 30 minutes, okay? And we're at the halfway point, so I want you to go ahead and drink some water. Um, we're all going to take a drink of water. It does not have to be plain water. It can be whatever your preference is on water. I am trying to get my point. I'm trying to add my point, my one point for water today. So I'm going to be finishing. This is my last 20 ounces um, to finish that. But we're at the halfway mark. I'm putting on the apron so that Casey can see where to break the videos up. Again, if you're new or if you're watching this on YouTube, it's just YouTube.com. Search if you have an egg. You will know. If you want to watch the whole thing over again or listen to the whole thing over again or whatever, or if you're brand new watching or listening, you'll know no apron, classroom time. So that's the first 30 minutes, and we're going over whatever was the topic for the previous week for Weight Watchers. Once the apron goes on, 
Hopefully it's something fun, hopefully it's something, or something um, interesting or something that you're going to learn. Um, so if you just wanna come back and watch the second half, always look for the apron. Okay, so the second half of tonight, and do you drink your water? Cause I only took a tiny sip. And I still have that much more to go. <clears throat> I think I told you, you also found out clearing your throat, super bad for your vocal cords. So I'm gonna try not to do it on that. Okay, so the second half of tonight's chat, this is chat number 281, and we were talking about how to um, add points back to your budget. Highly controversial topic. Highly controversial. But now, in the second half, we're going to move on to the fun part. We're still talking about saving money this summer. So, we have been doing a summer of savings, um, and I wasn't kidding. Even though the price of gas has gone down in some areas, like I think John, John, did you say you found gas yesterday for less than four dollars a gallon? Did I read that correctly? We had a we had a um, a pop up market here at Casey Kitchen Center, and he was te he and Casey were texting, and I saw a couple things, but I didn't see them all. But I swear I think he said he saw gas for less than four dollars a gallon somewhere. But even though gas is coming down a little bit, I can tell you prices, everything else, have not started coming down yet. Um, I saw a um, I saw an interview with some farmers this morning with some, um, you know, like some local produce, um, produce and meat farmers, and they said their prices are like on everything is double, triple, quadruple, and um, they were talking about the little boxes. So they had um, whatever it was that this particular farmer sells, there's a, there's a box that it goes in, and he said the boxes were, and I'm making up a number, but it was like 65 cents two years ago then they went to you know like a dollar 25 oh down under four in louisiana then they went to like a dollar 25 and i swear i think he said this year they're like 250. so if you're a farmer you know and you're trying to raise local local produce local meat you know whatever it is that you're doing and just the cost of your packaging goes from 65 cents to two dollars and fifty cents I, I can't imagine how much the price of what, what's happening to the price of everything. So tonight we're going to talk about four ways um, that you can make some things on your own to try, you know, to save some money. So it's the summer of savings. Um, we've had topics about, um, you know, uh, like Laura's favorite tips at the store for how to save money. Um, we had some energy saving tips, energy saving tips in the kitchen. Um, this week, um, we are going to, um, yeah, Vicki's already put her groceries up from last week. Um, so this week we're going to talk about some egglet, so the egglets, you know, as a group, some pro tips um, that I, that you all have given me over the years for making your own food, um, and I'm not kidding, we're going to try and save a little money this summer, okay? So this is going to be about making your own food. Got to tell you, spent years saying it's not broken. People, there are people to make that. Just let them make that. I don't need to worry about that, okay? We used to have a lady working here with us, and I'm kind of sort of hoping she's not here tonight because for years she was like oh you're drinking water you can make water and i was like there are people who to make water i'm just kidding it wasn't water but whatever it was constantly because she does that she grows her own food raises some of her own um uh meat and pro processes everything herself and um, cans everything freezes things i mean she tr she truly has got, um, sh I mean, shops like somebody you've never seen to get the best bargain, the best whatever, you know, whatever. If there ever is a zombie apocalypse, we are all headed to her house. But she has this down to a science. But I spent years arguing with her saying, I don't need to learn how to make these things. I don't need to learn how to do this stuff. There are people to do this. Okay. Things have been so expensive the last few years. We all need to learn how to do a few things. All of these may not be, all four of these may not be something for you. Um, there may be some things, like I'm going to say, um, ricing your, I'm just going to throw out one that we're not going to talk about tonight. And here I am talking about it, like ricing your own cauliflower. For me, that would not save any money. Okay, I've tried it. I'm not good at it. I'm not fast at it. It was gross before I got done with it. So that's one thing that's not, not we're not going to talk about it tonight because other than what I just said. Hello, Debbie. We're not going to talk about it tonight because I'm not, you know, that was not that was not a good choice for me. So these four, these four things, if they're great for you, fantastic. Comment, let us know what you like to do with these. Let us know if that you know if it works for you, if we think it's a good idea or not. If it's one that you think I don't need that, there's there's nothing in that for me. No, nope. just hang out, okay? Just hang out for just for just a few minutes. I promise, at least one of these three will be for you. Okay, the first one is making your own cold brew, making your own cold brew coffee. So we have a new egglet who was asking. 
like how to make cold brew, like what to put in it. So she was asking people for ideas on, um, you know, like sweeteners to add, flavorings to add, you know, things like that. And I got to tell you, so Casey, y'all, if y'all have been here with us any length of time, you know that Casey is my daughter. Um, and Casey loves a good iced coffee drink. Um, she is a frequent offender at the Green Mermaid drive through like frequent offender. But when the price of formula and the availability of formula went through the roof, I mean, it skyrocketed, and her husband had to start driving in for work again. He had been working from his home office, you know, for, I don't know, a year and a half or two years. Once both of those things hit, then she was trying to, she was, you know, had to find a way to save some money while still enjoying that mandatory mom juice. I mean, come on, she's got a four-year-old and a 10-month-old. She's got to have some coffee, okay? And she doesn't really drink it hot. She likes it iced. So, yesterday, I got a single cold brew. So, I got a cold brew coffee from one of the food trucks that was here at our market at Casey Kitchen Center. And it was delicious. And you can probably see her logo. And she also makes energy drinks. And they are also quite delicious. But this was $8, okay? I purchased this for $8, A, because I wanted to try it and see how it was. And B, I wanted to support her because she was here at our pop-up. That's a lot of money, okay? At the store today, so across the street at the store today, I found a 48 ounce Green Mermaid cold brew. So it's already, I didn't buy it because it was expensive, but a Green Mermaid cold brew, um, cold that you could just, you know, buy and take home. And it was uh, 48 ounces and it was $6.29. Okay, that's less than this. So there's already a good start. Skip this one. You know, if, if it's somebody that you're trying to support, great, you know, because you would probably just hand in the money anyway. Um, but from $8 to $6.29, and you could get several cups of this, probably three, let me think, 50, 48 ounces. I could, pro I could probably get, mm, for me, probably three. I could probably get three cold brews. But anyway, that's a step in the right direction. But you can also make your own. And if you have a French press, you can make it in a French press. Um, you can make, um, you can make, oh, okay. Uh, Debbie says there's a Ninja coffee maker that has a cold brew setting on it. That's a great idea. Um, I happen to have a Bodum um, cold brew kit. And this is basically like a giant French press so that I can make an entire, um, I can make a quart jar. Actually, it makes a little bit more than a quart jar of cold brew in it and you just make it in the refrigerator overnight, we do have a chat for that. So if you would like to go back and find that chat, um, you can use um, 10 to 12 scoops of a good, just a good quality ground coffee. This one's a flavored coffee from Petal Job. It's called Pirate Booty. Delicious. But you, but you can pick your flavors and that way too, you don't have to, you know, depend on the Green Mermaid or what's across the street at the store or whatever. You can go ahead and make your own. But if you use something like this, um, and again, mine's just, mine's a Bodum and it is just a big French press so that I can make a quart at a time, a little more than a quart at a time. So this bag, this bag of coffee, this is a locally roasted coffee from Petal Java. This is $15. Now there is an investment in something like, you know, like this if you wanted to do this. Casey actually just brews her coffee and then puts it over ice. Totally fine. That's also a, you know, totally fine option. But this um, is $15. I can make four 51 ounce Containers. So this will make a 51 ounce container. You can't get all of that into a quart jar. So I usually end up when I when I take it out, I'll like go ahead and make one iced coffee, and then I'll have the rest of it, you know, for, for you know for later that week. But so that's for $15. I can do that. So that's a fourth of the price of what I found over at the store today, and versus this, versus that. That's a savings of $136. What? What? $136? Yikes. Oh my gosh. How many times? How many times? Yeah, have I done this? Yeah, $136. Oh my gosh. I have grandchildren that know what to spend that $136 on. Okay, so you can make your own cold brew. <clears throat> yes, there is a chat for that. So if you need to see how, actually how to make it, um, then, and my sister has just sent me like 15 messages. Someone please tell my sister that we are having a live chat and that she needs to be quiet for just a second. I love you. Okay. The second one, make your own fat free cream cheese. <clears throat> so Debbie and Carol, 
besting my chops. When I say besting my chops, I say it with love, okay? Just kidding. They weren't really besting my chops. But for years, at least for a couple of years, they were like, oh, yeah, you know, you can make your own cream cheese. You know, they, whoever they is, you know, makes cream cheese. So I, it wasn't broken. I didn't need to fix it. You know, the problem wasn't broken. I, I didn't need to fix it. But guess what? It's broken now. So the cream cheese, the factory cream cheese industry is broken now. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it was COVID. I, I don't know. I don't know if it was cost, but it's broken now. So during the pandemic, I couldn't find cream cheese, period. Like the store across the street ran out multiple, 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 multiple times. It was the weirdest thing. We ran out of the weirdest stuff. Like we had meat coming out of our ears, paper towels, toilet paper. We never ran out of any of that stuff. No cream cheese, no Chef Boyardee canned things. It was the weirdest stuff that we ran out of. Peanut butter crackers for a little while, completely out. Um, but even when I could find cream cheese, it wasn't fat free. And a lot of times it wasn't even the third less fat. And then when I did find it, the price just kept going up and up and up and up. So today when I was over there, I found a name brand third less fat. Um, oh, thank you, Debbie. Debbie's already found the chat for the, um, for the cold brew. Um, but I found, but they had a third less fat, no fat free. I have not seen fat free on their shelf in months. Um, but I did find this and, um, and I got this and it was $3.99 for eight ounces. But, and I'll be using this in a recipe I'm making for someone who just came home from the hospital. This will not be going in my food. This is expo exponentially more points than what I'm getting ready to talk to you about. Okay. Also, while I was there, I went ahead and grabbed, um, this happened to be some Faye. Um, total zero um, it's non-fat plain Greek yogurt and so I went ahead and grabbed that and I'm gonna make no Carol says my favorite store Walmart carries it that is a no for me that's a no so this was on sale um, for $5.99 and guess what Debbie and Carol were right they were exactly right I can make at least three to four blocks of cream cheese as I need it so I don't have to make a full eight ounces if I don't need a full eight ounces if I just need a little tiny jar of it so that I can have you know fat-free cream cheese on some you know bagels or something like that you don't have to you know open this and then try to wrap it back up and whatever you can make it on demand and I can make at least three to four blocks of cream cheese as I need it and save almost ten dollars so ten dollars you know and if I'm doing this if I'm if I was be going through you know three or four of these every couple of weeks I mean, that adds up really fast, you know, $10 every other week. That's like a lot. That's a lot of money. Somebody do the math for me. Okay. Bonus. There is a chat for this. So if you, Jessica will hook you up um, when she gets this posted on if you have an egg.com. If you're new, all of the chats are posted on if you have an egg, if you have an egg.com right here, if you have an egg.com. And um, they're all posted there and you can go there and watch them and um, you can go there you can print them off and if there's any notes you can print those off but the how to make the fat-free cream cheese is already on there um, I started off I was going through this elaborate system with um, cheesecloth and a hanging system you know and whatever else and then I, I think it was Carol I can't remember if it was Carol or Debbie but one of them was like why don't you just get a reusable coffee filter and I went oh boy they a reusable coffee filter there you go writing so I've switched to that super stinking easy you can make it overnight come in the next day it's practically made itself so fat-free cream cheese you can make your own okay so easy and save about ten dollars over purchasing it at the store okay and oh and Carol Lee says it tastes better too the yogurt version tastes better I agree I think it does taste better and there's not any weird stuff in it so I mean I don't know if this has anything weird in it but it has xanthan gum carob bean gum guar gum and cheese culture I don't think the yogurt has that in there, but okay. So that's another one you can make your own um, cream cheese, and and I'm telling you, it the consistency when you get done, it is cream cheese when you get finished. Um, I do keep it in a glass container. You all know how much. I mean, you can see. Oh, and I've left a jug of water out, but you all can see. I have glass jars everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Um, but it keeps so well in those little small glass jelly jars, and then just when, as I need it. Just scoop a little bit out, put it on a, you know, again, like a bagel, um, a toasted English muffin. Um, you can make like the, um, <clears throat> oh yeah, and Debbie, exactly. Debbie says if you want flavored, you can add that too. You sure can. I have blended it together with um, with like sugar-free sh uh, sherry, sugar-free 
strawberry jam or blackberry jam or something like that and made a cool little spread for it. It is fantastic. Let me grab this and show you. I did not mean to segue off onto this, but the fat-free cream cheese, I have I sometimes make a little container of it and use the Dax no salt. So this has no salt and no MSG. Um, use that. It's the everything, everything but the salt. So it's like the it's like the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel spices. Oh wait, hold on. Let's see. Kim was just telling her daughter that she needs to make some cream cheese because she can't find it anywhere. There you go. Even her local Walmart is out. Ta da! It's Walmart. It's not the end all be all. But this tastes just like the everything bagel. I mean, you can't tell there's no salt in it. Um, but oh my gosh, that is so stinking. Yep, Debbie twinsies. So Debbie says this is her favorite with the cream cheese. We are cream cheese twinsies, Debbie. Of course, you knew we were both crazy like that. Okay, so that one's really good in it. Really good to make on your own. And you make it fresh, so you don't have to keep it sitting around. You have to worry about, you know, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> the third one is making your own mug cakes. We just talked about this. So the cream cheese, when there is already a chat for that, if you go to if you have an egg.com um, and search cream cheese, or if you go to youtube.com and go search if you have an egg and look for the cream cheese chat, I will show you, I'll walk you through the whole thing in that chat so you don't have to remember. Oh, Carol Lou added a bunch of fresh herbs, chives, and parsley. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Now I'm wanting cream cheese. Thanks a lot. Good thing I got some. Good thing I got, you know, some to make some. Um, but, um, Anyway, sorry. Um, so this one we just talked about. So this is fresh and hot on the If You Have an Egg website on the blog. Um, and all of my recipe, okay, I shouldn't say all. Most of my recipes are on there. But everything for sure is in a chat. <clears throat> and they're all on YouTube if you want to listen to them. They're not all where you can print them out, but most of them are. I try. I try hard. Okay, but this one is the mud cake recipe. We just talked about this a couple of weeks ago. It may have even been the last chat that we had. I'm not sure. But the 321 mud cake mix, um, this one is a yellow mix. You can you can do it with other flavors. It doesn't just have to be yellow. I do use the sugar-free cake mix as my second half, and you can go back and watch the chat for that. I'm not gonna re-explain how to make it here. Um, but it's so easy. You do, you know, it's three tablespoons of this mix, two tablespoons of water, mix it together, one minute in the microwave, that's why it's three, two, one, and then you can add whatever you want to to it. You can add blueberries, strawberries, jello, pudding mix, you can mix, I mean, whatever you want to, and make a cool little mug cake um, that doesn't have to be a lot of points. You know, they can be like five, you know, five or so points, and, you know, add a scoop of ice cream for a couple more points. I mean, it, and I'm telling you, it's especially warm, maybe some Lily's chocolate chips or something, and now I'm getting hungry again. Um, they can be fantastic. I have looked, so we, Casey and I used to get like a little box, before we knew how to do this, we used to get like a little box of mug cake mixes, and they, they came in little pouches like a, it looked kind of like um, hot cocoa, like cocoa mix, <clears throat> and we used to get those. So, I checked them out today. We haven't bought any in a while, and I don't know who to credit for this. So, like the cold brew, you know, we've had, you know, several of y'all talking about that, and Casey, you know, loves to, um, to she loves to use her bodum um, and do that. Um, Debbie and Carol Lou were the ones who told me about the cream cheese, and several of you have given me great ideas on the cream cheese as well. I don't know who to credit for the mug cakes because so many of you all make these. So many of you all make this mix. So many of you all have been making mug cakes since way before personal points, since way before I started this, you know, vlog, and um, for so long. So thank you to all of you who've been doing the mug cakes, but I went back and looked and um, they're a simple, quick treat, you know, easy treat if you just need to make a single serving. Um, I would encourage you to put it in something. Um, oh, Debbie says I actually had a mug cake chat five years ago too. Wow, five years ago, so I've already forgotten about it. Um, but it's a great, oh, thank you Debbie for sharing that too. But it's, so it, I put it in something and I leave it at work so that I can only make one at a time. I know a few of you had said that it could be an issue, um, you know, because you might get into it. Just put it in something that you're not going to be tempted because you do have to mix it and make it, you know, whatever. Um, but mug cakes range in price from a, like a dollar fifty to two seventy five per cake mix, based on what I found. And if you use this mix from a couple of weeks ago, you can make up to thirty two mug cakes for as little as nineteen cents each. 
again, that's a lot of money. So I can use the rest of that $1.50 to two seventy five to add in frozen fresh strawberries, fresh peaches, you know, Lily's chocolate chips. So I could use that money on something else, but as little as 19 cents each. Okay, and this last one, all cred goes to Julie. So Julie, that's in our If You Have an Egg group, um, she's been a long time member of the If You Have an Egg group. She is still, she's hosting a summer, um, it's, like a, it's not a boot camp. I hate to say it's a boot camp, it's a challenge. Um, it's not a boot camp because everybody's been super up uplifting. And thank you very much. Debbie's like, Debbie is just like a wealth of information and links tonight. So thank you, Debbie. Thank you, my um, cream cheese partner in crime. Um, but Julie's been such a long-term member and she, you know, and she is hosting this um, summer challenge um, over the If You Have an Egg group. But she's a long-time member of the If You Have an Egg group. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think she's one of the original egglets. So like that first handful that joined um, back when I thought, oh, nobody's going to watch this. I mean, when I started this, I thought, I don't know, I think I reviewed, if I'm not mistaken, I think I reviewed a, like the Egg White Delight muffin or whatever it is from Chick-fil-A or so. I don't even remember. I think. I think all kinds of technical, y'all think technical problems now? Mm -mm. Losing my voice now? Mm -mm. No, that, this was a disaster. It was hilarious. I'm shocked I ever did a second one, but I'm pretty sure Julie was one of that original group because um, we had like um, Julie and Sally and Cheryl and, you know, and some, some of you others, but I'm, anyway, I'm pretty sure that Julie was in that original group. And, um, and Julie, it might've been Julie and Sally that gave the egglets their original name. I don't know. They, I'm just telling you, they've been around for a long time. So Julie is also, though, a long time WW member, and she likes to eat well. Um, I love to see what she's eating in a day, how many steps she's gotten in a day. You know, she's she's very forthcoming with what she's what she's put in her in her body. You know, every day. And um, so she's and Kim says, "Thank you, Debbie. Now I can go make my cream cheese. Yeah, awesome. Thank, thank you, also Debbie. But um, <clears throat> she likes to be creative." Um, and here lately, she doesn't mind saving a buck, okay? She's a school teacher, so I'm confident that money is tight. She's getting ready to have back to school, you know, fill up your room and, you know, buy all your kids' school supplies, you know, expenses. So, lo and behold, though, a couple of weeks ago, she had a package of ground chicken in her hand. So, she was at the grocery store. She had a, a, a pound of ground chicken in her hand, and it was $8.99. It was one pound of ground chicken, and it was eight dollars and ninety nine cents. Wow, that's a lot for a for a pound of ground chicken. But not one to be duped. Julie checked in with her husband, who also happens to be a chef, and she confirmed that you can grind your own ninety nine percent fat free chicken breast. Now we're not going to do it tonight, but I'm going to show you what she used here in a second. Um, but she checked with him just to be sure, and he said, yeah, sure, of course you can do it. So, Julie has lots of um, money-saving ideas. She, I think she does do her own fat-free cream cheese. She does. Uh, make, she makes her own ranch dressing. Um, God, there were so many things. She listed a whole lot of things that she's... Um, that she makes that she just doesn't, she's just not going to spend money on it. Um, but the chicken breast, you know, when her husband, again, who's a chef, gave it the seal of approval, you know, he endorsed it. She was all over it. So she um, ran back over to Aldi. So like double bonus, you know, Aldi is one of the least expensive places to buy, you know, things like chicken breast. Um, <clears throat> and she realized, hold on a minute, I can go ahead and get 99% fat-free chicken breast. I know what's in it. It doesn't have any fillers in it. It doesn't have any added sodium in it. There's nothing pumped in it, chunked in it, you know, whatever. It's just 99% fat-free chicken. And she put it in, she cut it into like one inch cubes. And, oh, and Tay does it too. In just a regular food processor. So I'm thinking, oh, she's got a meat grinder. She's got some kind of an attachment for her, you know, Cuisinart, whatever. Um, you know, it's her Ninja Foodie meat grinder, whatever. I don't know that Ninja has that, but they just seem to have everything. <clears throat> Literally just in a food processor. And apparently Debbie does it too. I didn't know. I didn't know. Because remember, I've been going, nope, there are people to do that. I don't need to do it. I'm all in. So at some point this week, we will be doing it. But she went to Aldi and grabbed two and a half pounds of 99% fat-free 99% fat-free chicken breast. Again, no fillers, no additives, no nothing for $10. You do the math on that, okay? She got almost two and a half times 
the amount of ground chicken, no fillers and no additives, for one dollar and one cent more than one pound. So she paid one dollar and one cent more than so the, the one pound that she had in her hand at the store, put it back, went to Aldi, she spent one dollar and one cent more and ended up with two and a half pounds of ground chicken, no no additives, no fillers, no, you know, no whatever. Um, wow, that was huge. And she's having such great success with it that her gal pal Deanna has joined the bandwagon. And this week, not tonight, because we will run out of time. We've only got just a few minutes left. Um, but later this week, we'll be trying it too. So I bought some chicken breasts that were on sale across the street today. I got the manager special. And Tag's already get has already posted some advice here. So if you all it looks like Tag, Debbie, Carol, looks like um, all these people, Deanna, um, Julie. So they're all they're all on this, you know, grinding your own chicken breast or turkey breast. I think Carol said she does that with turkey breast. Um, you know, this bandwagon. I have my little handy dandy food processor here. It's nothing special. So you ladies are assuring me that this is gonna work, right? My little my normal just little food processor is gonna work for this, okay? So later this week we'll be doing it. Stay tuned for details. Julie's ground chicken breast will be put to the test later um, this week on an episode of If You Have an Egg. Um, and I'd like to know, so comment below if you have something that you like to do, like the fat-free cream cheese, like making your own cold brew, like grinding your own chicken or turkey breast, like doing the mug cakes. Is there something that you do that you make that we should be doing? And again, rice cauliflower is not for me. What Probably some of these were not you know, for some of you all, um, what? Carol has even done it in her magic bullet. I have one of those at home. That's fascinating. That, okay, that's fascinating. I'm willing to try. But yeah, I want you all to comment. So if, you know, we've only got just a couple more minutes here to comment tonight, but you can all, I'll, this will post as soon as we get done talking. Um, this will post on here on Facebook. You can still keep commenting. People will still see your comments. If you want to wait until Casey posts this on YouTube tomorrow, and again, that's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. You can post, you know, what you like to make your money saving tips for making your own things there. Um, or if you um, want to do it when Jessica posts this on, if you have an egg.com, please comment there. We are all in this together. We all need this help together. Okay. Like I would have never known about the mug cakes. And if y'all weren't making some, would have never known about the cream cheese. If Debbie and Carol hadn't been bugging me, still not going to make my own cottage cheese though. Y'all will never talk me into that. Never, 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 ever, 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 ever. Um, if my friends the Petal Javas had not taught Casey and I how to make cold brew, we would still be spending, what did I say, 136 extra dollars to have somebody else make it? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. So anyway, comment, let me know um, what your favorite things are to make, um, to make yourself, to make on your own. Um, Yep. Okay. Yep. Debbie and Tay are still talking about how to do the ground up chicken. That is an awesome idea. And yes, my voice is holding up very well. I'm feeling really good about this. So again, thank you all for your patience. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, please let the next video go ahead and roll over. It's from two weeks ago, but I have a voice at least. Um, so you're going to enjoy that. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that little bell so that you'll know when the next video is coming up. Um, you all have, um, oh, hold on. Debbie says the food processor also makes great grated boiled eggs awesome like have you been buying them grated somewhere else but y'all have an amazing and fantastic week we will play with the um chicken breast later in the week i'm excited to see how that works and i think kendall will be too because she is all about eating healthier and when i tell her that this is just chicken breast no additives no fillers i think she's going to be all in so we'll let y'all know how that goes but y'all have a great week um, and i'll see you next time good night